What if Star Citizen didn't exist? Whether we like it or not, this game has had some impact on the gaming industry even in its alpha state. If Chris Roberts never pitched the idea, what would the gaming industry look like today? In this video, we're going to discover what we'd miss if Star Citizen did not exist. Star Citizen provides the community with an abundance of tools to create content such as machinimas, trailers, and gameplay. Some of my favorite machinimas are from Star Citizen. The beautiful graphics and the ability to create jaw-dropping cinematics in-game on the fly is astonishing. Sometimes you forget it's just a game. Tools such as exterior views that allows for zooming, panning, and field of focus adjustments. You can even save multiple points of view into memory to recall back when you need to catch the perfect shot. These tools allow for not only the creation of cinematic views, but the ability to catch the perfect moments on a dime. The head tracking feature allows for you to track your head and eye movements whilst in the pilot seat of your ship, vehicle, or even on foot while you explore. There's also the face over IP feature that allows for players to use their camera to track their head movement as well. To take it to another level, it tracks your facial expression and translate it over to your player character. These features allow the Star Citizen community to create content that is just not found anywhere else in gaming right now. But don't take my word for it, my old mates and I did a one take roleplay event a few months ago and it was phenomenal. You can check out the video in the description below after this video. Once you've loaded into the game, you will no longer need to load anything else. Locations and assets are loaded in as you need. With the object container system, you can be in space, jump to a planet, fly down to pick up a package, jump back into your ship, head back off planet, jump across the system to another planet to deliver this package. All seamless with no loading screens. Through the object container system, Star Citizen has proven that it works. Take into account the scale, sizes of planets, space stations, and even ships at the level of fidelity that is just not found anywhere else. Of course, we'd be loaded in from map to map if Star Citizen did not exist. Star Citizen's ambition to be a fully lived in game influence other games like Elite Dangerous to get space legs. Elite was initially a game where you were the ship. In Star Citizen, you're an individual. You can drive vehicles, fly ships, explore on foot on planets or even explore derelict stations or ships in space via EVA suits. I believe what CIG has done with Star Citizen thus far has influenced Elite Dangerous and other games to innovate and compete. The scale of simulating an entire star system and eventually a universe is becoming a reality and we're seeing it evolve right before our eyes. This will definitely cause other gaming studios to step up their game. The best industries are the ones with healthy competition. It allows for innovation, better games, bigger ambitions, larger skills. In the end, I believe this results in better games for players and pushes the boundaries of what could be done but we'd be still getting the same games from year to year if Star Citizen didn't exist. Star Citizen is the first game I've ever seen where you truly rely on others to successfully operate a ship or a vehicle. With the introduction of operator modes, you can be a gunner, operate missiles, manage the ship systems, and very soon, the oxygen, room pressure, power, etc. with the resource management mechanics. The player's ship is the lifeblood of any operation. It is imperative for players to upkeep their ships. With the introduction of salvage and repair mechanics in Star Citizen 3.18, players will be able to patch up their ships during downtimes of their journey. Players will need to ensure they bring what they need, and if they don't have it, they'll need to source out that resource. If they cannot source out that resource, they can request services from other players to refuel and repair. What is astonishing is that all types of players will be able to coexist in the same ship or operation and contribute. For example, the Aegis Reclaimer is a massive salvage vessel that needs multiple people to operate. You have the pilot to control the ship, you have two turrets to operate the salvage beam, you will need turret gunners for security, 
you will also need engineers to keep track of the ship systems to ensure that everything is being maintained. You will need at least one individual to move the salvage material over to the cargo bay and to take it up one level, a hauling ship that will come by from time to time to pick up the cargo from the reclaimer to take it back to store or to sell. Star Citizen has shown multi-crew multi-play experience never done before in gaming. If you like an example of multi-crewing in Star Citizen, you can check out a video provided in the description down below. Recently, Star Citizen server player count increased from 50 to 100 and will increase once again when server meshing is introduced. This allows for massive fleet battles involving capital class ships to the smallest fighters. What makes this impressive is the fact that each large ship has multiple players operating that ship. Large multi-crew ships have turrets, guns, missiles, shields, countermeasures, all operated by players within that one ship. This requires players to communicate and operate as one unit as they engage enemy ships. The experience within the ship during a fleet battle is completely different. The pilot will need to keep the nose on the target to allow the turret gunners to hit their assignments. The co-pilot will need to manage the missiles while keeping an eye on the ship systems like the shields. In the near future, your engineers will need to ensure that there are no fires on the ship and if there is any hull breaches, you'll need to patch it up. If power of one section is out, they'll need to reroute power to keep the ship operational. All this is happening in one ship in the midst of a fleet battle. But then again, none of this would exist if there was no Star Citizen. Boy, am I happy that there's a game dev studio willing to try something that has not been done before. CIG has done a phenomenal job at what they've managed to accomplish thus far, but it's only getting better. With the introduction of Star Citizen 3.18, the future is looking bright. I cannot wait to be able to play a game where you can go anywhere and do anything with your friends. You remember when I told you about a phenomenal roleplay event video? It's right here. I'll see you there.